Hi, I'm Michelle from Turn Much Sleep Paper Blooms. Today I'm working on fixing some paper flowers which have got a little bit damaged. It's actually really simple to fix these, so I thought I'd just show you the process and how I give them a new lease of life. So I recently made a tutorial which showed you how to make a plumeria stem or frangipani, depending on where you are in the world. Um, and this is the one that I made. I also have these other stems that are in front of me on the table here, which have just got a little bit squashed and damaged over time. So I don't know if you can see the difference, but this one, the petals are much more cut, they're facing the right direction, it just looks a little bit more realistic and a little bit more cared for. <laughs> but some of these have just been sat in quite a large vase or grouped together, so they weren't necessarily styled or put in a particular position, they were just more for storage. So because this is a fragile flower, they've just got a little bit squashed. Most paper flowers, you can just stick them in a box somewhere and they'll be totally fine. But this one, because it's quite thin, flimsy petals and the crepe papers stretch virtually all the way out. And also because it's only joined a very tiny point to the wire, so like the whole of the rest of the petal is not joined, it's just the centre bit onto the stem. So these are just over time just got squashed but it's a relatively easy way to fix them the other thing is this is one of my earlier flowers that i made so it's before i learned more techniques and also the more flowers you make the better you become as a paper florist so my skills have improved as well so i'm not going to do a huge amount of eating but i'm just going to take flowers such as this one where it's just you know everything's stuck in the wrong direction that doesn't look like a plumeria so some of them are not so bad this one's not so bad I'm just going to tweak all of the ones that are a bit damaged or a bit out of shape and then I'm also going to look at the underside of the petals because for example here I'm not quite sure how or why <laughs> but the, the floral tape doesn't go all the way up to the underside so I don't know how that happened that's obviously just my skills improving as I've gone on but there's just a little bit of a gap which I just think that green should go all the way up and that's going to make a lot of difference. If you look at the underside of these, they just look a lot more finished. So that's a quick and easy fix. Um, it's going to take me probably 10 minutes, if that, just to finish each stem. But I'm going to start with this one. And the worst flower is this one here, just because it's been squashed out. So what I'm going to do is, you can see this one is actually curving that way, and I want it to curve under. So, um, first of all, I'm just going to push that in with my finger. And it's actually popped back into the right shape. So you will probably find most of them do this because it, they've previously been curled. And then I'm just going to start to twist the paper round to get them to face the kind of right direction. And get them to stand up a little bit more and I'm, I'm just going to start to tweak those, pull them slightly upwards because I want these flowers, you see how these ones sit upright? I want these to do the same. Plumeria doesn't sit flat, they, they're more of a, an upright. And then I'm just going to fiddle with those until I get them to stand upright a bit more get them about right and I'm going to pinch the base because that's going to get it to all sit together nicely as well and then you can see it's very much closed now now it is a little bit too closed but that's okay because that helps us to work with it and then I'm just going to take a small bit of tacky glue onto a cocktail stick you only need a small amount for this you don't need much at all because the way the petals sit on a plumeria flower they overlap so each petal overlaps the next one and they go around in a circle like that so all i'm going to do i want this petal to sit in front of this one so i'm going to put the glue onto the underside of one petal just a small amount i've, I've hardly got any on there and then i'm just going to press them together and that's just going to help them to sit side by side better and you might just need to hold that for a second or two just to get it to stay and then I'm just going to do that anywhere where I feel the petals are just not quite set in the right position. And that is literally all you need to do to improve that flower. So you can kind of see the difference there between the two. And then I'm going to do that for all the flowers on this stem. Some of these are going to need more work than others. Some are not too bad actually. And they need very minor adjustment. The other thing you can do, if there's any stretch left in the paper and the petal is sitting quite flat, this one is an example of that. You can just take it between both hands, between your thumb and your finger on both hands, and then just start to, you want to push down inwards with your fingers and pull outwards with your thumb just to kind of cook the petal more. So you can see there that's made that curve a lot more. So most petals you probably find they're okay because that's what you did originally, but if there are any that are sitting flat and you're not quite happy with them, that's just a way you can 
tweak those a little bit further. Okay, so I'm happy with how each of those flowers is looking now. So I'm just going to go back in with my floral tape and finish off the underside of the flowers. Now I'm only trying to cover a very small portion, so I really don't need much tape for this. I'm just going to cut some small pieces off first of all. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue to each of these just to hold it in place. Again, you really don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit to make it tacky. Floral tape itself should actually be tacky enough that you don't need to use glue. And this stuff in particular I'm using today is very sticky because I can just feel it on my fingers already. This probably doesn't need it, but some of them don't have quite as much stick to them and it just really depends on the brand that you buy. Um, so just be aware of that when you're picking your tape. But I just like to put a little bit of glue on just to be on the safe side so they don't unravel. And then I'm just going to take that tape and, I put, and I'm going to put that right to the underside of the flower and I'm going to push that up as high as I can get it. And then I'm just going to pull that tight and wrap around the stem just to finish it off. And then make sure I squeeze that into position so that there's no bits that are sticking out. And there we go. So already this one's looking a lot more finished than this one that I haven't done yet. So it's only a very minor tweak but I do think it makes all the world of difference for your flowers to be more realistic. So I'm just going to finish off the rest of the branch and do the same thing. Okay, so that's made a massive difference. And then this will depend what wire you've used. You don't necessarily need to do this. I want to show you the difference. This wire I used here, I think was a 16 or an 18 gauge wire. This, I don't remember what I used, but it looks like it's maybe a 20 or a 22. So it's a lot thinner. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but the difference between the two the thicker stem looks a lot more realistic. So this is just an extra if you wanted to, but you can also go in and wrap these stems to be thicker, just with more and more tape. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more floral tape and I'm just gonna wrap the stems just to give them a bit more thickness. Obviously these are wires so you can just bend some of the stems out of the way if that makes it easier for you. All right, so those are all now thicker, so that's a lot better than before. There we go. And then, this particular branch, where they all meet, it's a bit flimsy, so I'm just going to take some glue on the end of my cocktail stick and just put that right down into the middle between all of the branches. So there's a, a decent blob of glue in there now. And then I'm just going to press those all together and I'm going to add a little bit more tape just to hold that in place. You might not need to do this step. I'm just showing you all of the options that you might come across because it really depends on the specific flower if you'll need to do any of these or not. But that's just holding them a bit tighter as well so they're less flimsy. Obviously these wires are very straight and I haven't really bent them to be in a particular position. So I'm just going to tweak those a little bit so that they look more realistic. So I'm just putting a very slight curve onto the wire there and then just playing with the angles that they're at just to make them stick out in the right direction. Okay. And then one last thing I've noticed here, there's a little bit of tape that's come loose. So rather than cutting that off and removing it, I'm just going to add another tiny little bit of glue and stick that back down. And there you go. And then you can tweak the position of your stem until you're happy with it. So you can see I have the three stages. So I've got one I've done nothing to that's looking a little bit sad. I've got the one I've just fixed and the one that I made most recently. So these two are now looking a lot more similar and just that little bit more cared for than the one previous one. So these are going to be featuring in a little mini series showing you how to create your own bouquet with what we've learned so far. So make sure that you subscribe so that you get notified when that goes live and then you can follow along with me as we build a bouquet together. This is a great way to bring all your skills you've learned so far together and to create something incredible and unique. So make sure you stay tuned. If you like this video then please do hit the thumbs up button. Thanks so much for being here to celebrate the special moments.